Hi guys, I'm going to show you a cool little trick I figured out with the Futaba T8J, but I'm sure it'll work with any other Futaba so long as you have open program mixes. So let me show you what I did. Normally you can only select in the third position manual, ATTI, or failsafe, but neither of those choices really work perfectly because if you want to ever try manual mode, you won't be able to use failsafe. You'll have to, to do failsafe, you'll have to turn off your transmitter. Um, and then with fit, if you want to if you select failsafe, you can never use manual mode as a switch. So let me show you what I did. Check it out. On my three position switch, I have it set so that the top is GPS, the middle is ATTI, and then if I put it into the third position, it actually goes into fail safe in this position right here. Then, using the spring loaded switch, I flip it and it goes into manual mode. So now I could be flying in GPS mode and say, okay, I want to try manual mode, which is crazy, but I figured why not give it a shot flip up the manual, go, oh my god, oh my god, I'm running, losing control. Let go and it goes right into GPS mode. This way you can save your ass if you just want to play around and don't want to crash. So let me show you how I did it. So it actually requires making two P-mixes instead of one, but it works out pretty cool. So what I did is I went into P-mixes. Under curves, I made my first P-mix, which is AV1 into AV1, and I'll show you the settings. I have a P5 set to plus 53, and all the others are set to 0%. Um, then I have it set to position up, switch H, which is my spring-loaded switch. Now that's very important because you want to use a spring-loaded switch. Um, on my heli model it's switch H, but it might be different on whichever transmitter you've got. I have slave set to AV1 and master set to AV1. And mix set to on, of course. And so what this does, as you can see, is it actually will allow you to do the switch as GPS, ATTI, and failsafe. And, but it uses the failsafe in that position right there. But then I needed to make another P-mix. And now the second P-mix can be a little trickier to do because it requires a little fidgeting around. But here's what you do. You, it's a creed, I created a normal P-mix and I used uh, channel 3 right here. It's AV1 into AV1. And you can see the settings right here. Um, and it's a little tricky. I, you can see I used a switch H again and have position set to down AV1 into AV1 um, and I change the offset to plus 100 percent and a rate L into negative 100 percent and H as 0 percent. Um, the tricky part is you can't really change those very easily unless you use the three-way switch. So if I wanted to change the H I'd actually have to take the three-way switch and flip it all the way down and then as you can see it allows you to switch to select H to select the the top you have to flip the switch up and as you can see it allows you to change it to negative 100 percent on the top there and so these are the settings for the second p-mix and so when you've done all that you end up having a, the ability to switch between GPS ATTI and then flip it to failsafe if you want and in any of those modes you can use the spring-loaded switch to, to try out manual mode and and then if you get sketched out, just let go and it goes back into a GPS mode or it goes back into ATTI mode. Now just got to be really careful folks and make sure that everything works here because you don't want to have it accidentally go into manual mode when you don't want it to or go into failsafe when you don't want it to. So test things out and give me a holler if you have any questions about it. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Bye.